In this video, I want to show you how you can use the form and shifting to create a sort of alternate voice or harmony with your audio. So here is this main lead vocal track. Son, there is no change in where you come from. Now let's just duplicate it. So there's a duplicate. And with this, I want to make it a higher harmony. So going into the part, I just want to select all the audio and shift it up five semitones. I'm just going to use the arrow keys to go up five semitones. One, two, three, four, five. And how about also selecting all the audio and just making sure that it's all pitched correctly. Then I'm going to shift this four minutes up. And now let's take a listen with two of those parts. With the high part, I just want to drop the volume slightly and pan it to the right. So now you've got this. Son, there is no change in where you come from. Cause everybody knows there is no reason why you'd leave. So there's some notes a little bit out. Let's just take a listen again. Let's open this up. And I'm using the chord track. And then on the part, I've set the coloring to chord track. So any pitch notes that are green are within the chord. Blue is within the scale and red is out of key. So let's have a playback and move the notes around so that they're more within the key of the song. Son, there is no change. Let's see where it is. Maybe it's these notes over here. Son, there is no change in where you come from. It's a bit flat. As you can see, this is going by the coloring of the pictures. So it's quite handy having a chord chart or chord track. So as I mentioned, Green is if it's in the chord, blue is if it's in the same scale, and red is out. So you could hear that that was actually out. So I've just pulled it onto the E. Son, there is no change in where you. Maybe have that set to the same. Son, there is no change in where you come from. Hmm. Son, there is no change in where you come from. Awesome. Then on to this last bit. Cause everybody knows. Cause everybody knows there is no reason why you'd leave. And up. There is no reason why you'd leave. Awesome. So that's how quick and easy it is to duplicate a track, use the very audio to find out the pitch data, then shift it up some semitones, do some form and shifting, and then maybe tweak a couple of the notes to get it to sit with the main vocal part. So as you can see, very audio is a very helpful tool. You can use it to correct the pitching, plus you can use it to create other ideas with your audio. Now in the next video, let's take a look at some of the audio process functions.